Electroplated CBN wheels. Quite often when the wheel is worn out, we see wear on only half the perimeter of the wheel. So it seems we're wasting a lot of useful abrasive that never does any work. Why? Well, let's say you've got an electroplated wheel. This guy here is not an electroplated wheel. This is a gator wheel, but let's imagine he's electroplated. Now you don't dress electroplated wheels. What you do is you just take them and you stick them on the shaft, stick them on the machine. And when you do that, you're always going to get a little bit of play. Doesn't matter how good your dimensions are, you're always going to get a little bit of play. Get that little bit of play, you bolt him down, and that guy is now eccentric. Okay, now if it was a dressed wheel, a little eccentricity is fine because we're going to dress away that eccentricity, get rid of it, and everything's fine. But electroplated wheel, we never dress it. So what we have is an eccentric wheel. And that eccentric wheel, just like in the figure here, bangs on the high point. So now we bang on the high point. Now we start off, and let's say we stick that guy on, and let's say our run out is 25 microns or a thou. Well, we're going to bang on the high point right here. And then as that wheel wears away, we're going to be banging on this part. And as the wheel wears away, we're going to be banging on this part. And then finally, if we've got 25 microns or a thou of run out, and we wear away 25 microns, we're finally using the whole perimeter of the wheel. But some of these electroplated wheels, especially in the finer grits, don't really have 25 microns of life. They've got 20 microns of life. Or maybe you have more eccentricity than that. So what happens is you stick this guy on there, you hit the high point, by the time you get, let's say, halfway around the wheel, these guys are all worn out and dead, and they're no longer cutting, they're just rubbing, heat generation's high, getting burned, and you say, oh, it's time to discard the wheel. You look at the wheel, he's all kind of dull and worn over here, you got nothing over here, nowhere, so you've lost half your abrasive. So here's what you do, get yourself a dial gauge, and get yourself a little chunk of wood and a rubber mallet, and when you mount that guy, go to the rim, tap, 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 tap. Get that guy as close to having minimal run out as you can. So that when you grind, okay, you're still going to be touching on the high point, but your run out is not much, so very quickly you'll be using the entire perimeter of the wheel. Had a company in Spain who did exactly this. They basically said, hey, half of our wheels are all worn on one side. I said, are you indicating your wheels? They say no, and I say, well, start indicating them. And what you're going to find is you're going to start using more of your abrasive. Your wheels are going to last twice as long. Uh, and also, you're maybe even more, because now you're no longer banging on the high point. You're going to see any chatter issues disappear due to that banging and just generally better grinding.